And there is our finished robot waiting to be programmed. In order to do our programming, we need our iPad. Okay, I am looking at my iPad. I am looking for the Make Block app. You will see it, the very last app. It says M Blockly, and it's a big M in a white box. So I'm going into that app now. Notice my robot is already turned on, so it is searching for a robot. It only finds one, so I will click on the name of the robot. And it says success, it connected to my robot. I have two options. I can create a new project, or I can pull up my project. I have not yet saved a project, so I want to create a new project. So I am clicking the yellow button. And here is my programming area. The big white empty space is where I will put my code. Notice the very first option says begin. I'm going to start there. And I'm going to pick the first block that says when go. That means when I click go, what's going to happen? I want my robot to move. So I'm going under move. Do I want to go forward, backward, clockwise? I'm going to start with forward. We're going to do a simple program. So I'm going to go forward. At speed, I'm going to leave the speed and I'll change the one to two seconds. Next, I'm looking at display. So if I go under display, I want to look at the LED light on board the robot. So I'm going to use this one. And right now it's got both lights set to red. What if I want to change the color? I'm going, I'm going back to display, grab the same block again. And I'm going to change it to green. And I want it to move before the light changes. So I'm going to move again, forward again. And this time one second. So if you look at my code, I have move forward at speed of 100 for two seconds. Then the light should change color. Then I should move again for one second. Then the light should change green. So if this is a good program, my robot should be ready to go. Let's take a look. Okay, that looked pretty good. Let's do one more thing. Let's add a sound effect. So I'm going back to display. And let's have it play a tone. This time we'll go, we'll start with the C5. Let's do a couple of tones. Let's go back to display, play tone. Let's change it this time. Let's try F5. And let's do one more. Let's do Oh, uh, we'll do C6. There we go. Okay. And then we want to make sure it stops the tone. So we'll try, we'll try our whole program now. We've got it moving, we've got it changing colors, and we've got it playing a sound. Let's see what happens. <laughs> 